Welcome to Necromunda Hired Gun. Amber here with what I think are the top three selling points of this game and why you might want to buy it. But whether or not you decide to spend your hard-earned credits on this title, do consider subscribing to my channel for more news and reviews, tips and tricks, guides and gameplay for Necromunda Hired Gun and other awesome video games. This game looks to be a surefire hit for three types of players. First and foremost, those of you that love single-player, first-person shooter games. The developers have been clear that this is a classic FPS. There's a story-based main campaign, although you're probably not playing this game for the story. Players can select among several different appearances for their bounty hunter, but there is no character creator. This is not a role-playing game. There are chests that you can loot, and defeated enemies may drop new weapons or upgrades that you can equip, but this is not a looter shooter. Gunplay is the focus here, and you'll be spending most of your time in this game gunning down endless opponents using a myriad of different guns, including a plasma gun. This is a sci-fi game, which brings me to the next group of players who will enjoy Necromunda Hired Gun. Fans of the Warhammer 40k universe. If you like historically accurate World War II FPS games, there are many you can play, but this game is for those of us who prefer the dark fantasy setting of Necromunda, a planet-sized hive city overrun by rival gangs and steeped in crime and corruption. This game was created by a small group of Warhammer enthusiasts, and now I really do see the value in using an existing fictional universe as the setting for a game, especially for an indie dev studio. I say this after playing a couple other games this year that were set in brand new sci-fi worlds that didn't quite live up to the hype. Yet there is still love and loyalty in this dank, dark underhive. Of course, I'm referring to Man's Best Friend, and this is the third and final group of players to which I belong who may be sold on this game. Bounty hunters who want an attack dog to fight by their side. This is not just a cosmetic pet. This cyber mastiff can aid you in battle against your foes. Your dog even has its own upgrade tree, allowing you to customize your companion to match your playstyle and become an elite fighting team. I really like the idea of having a loyal ally to assist and accompany me through this game, and having an animal that we know from our own planet somehow makes the violent and bizarre mega city of Necromunda more approachable at least for me. But what do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments. This is Amber. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.